Today I'm gonna to show you how to mount a printable to a board in the easiest way. It takes about five minutes and it always turns out pretty perfectly. We have a whole set of printables. We printed them in a 19 by 13 size on our Canon PIXMA 8720. And um, we used the PIXMA 13 by 19 matte finished paper, but you could also do a gloss. You just have to be a little more careful when you're smoothing it onto the board. So let's go get this sprayed. So we're gonna put this board in a box to kind of control over spray. And we want to really make sure we get the edges and that we do it nice and smooth. All right, should be good to go. Okay, so we just sprayed this. We are ready to put this next printable on. You want to just eyeball it so it looks about even and make sure it's about straight. And then, um, because we might have some spray mount left on our hands, don't use your fingers, but you really wanna push down on the edges. It's okay if the paper bends because I'll show you how to fix that. And in fact, you want it to hang over. Now that it's glued, we're gonna take our sanding block and we'll hold it at an angle, if you can see, to the edge of the wood, and then we will just sand so that what happens is it cuts through the edge of the paper and gives us a perfectly clean edge. So you don't want um, a sanding paper that's too, too rough because you don't want it to eat up your paper. Um, but as you do it, you'll start seeing your paper just slowly peel off. And if it needs a little bit more time, just go ahead and give it a little bit more. Um, if you feel like it's not totally smooth or there's some rough spots, you can go ahead and just hit it one last time with the sanding block. Okay, so, oh, look at that, just peel right off. One more quick pass with the sander to clean it up. Then you have perfect edges. You can just repeat this for all four printables. We have it in three sets. We have it in black, navy, and turquoise. And you can do whatever set you think will look best in your home. Okay, so we just cut the um, frame boards and we're gonna kind of dry fit them and make sure that we cut them properly before we stain them. I can see that I probably need to trim these sideboards just a tiny hair. It's like a sixteenth of an inch space right here. So I'm gonna go through and check the rest of them um, and that should be really quite fast. This one's gonna be like this one. It looks like the inside edges are just a hair too long. I am being summoned. Okay, so now that we know that these pieces fit with this um, frame, I am going to take on the back and put, I'm just gonna write a number one, and then on these on the inside, so this is the roughest edge, I'm gonna go ahead and put a one right there so it'll be hidden when it's connected. I wanna see how long it takes him to come up the stairs. And I guess that means I'm done. Bye. Why? Can't okay, so we have our stained and cut um, frame, and I'm gonna go ahead and start by nailing it with a little half inch nail. Inside. 
Um, I wrote the numbers on here so I wouldn't get it mixed up, so I'm gonna make sure I put that side facing the um, inside so we don't see the number anywhere. have a nice framed piece of art. We're gonna try hanging these up with Velcro. If not, you could get um, hanging hardware to put on the back, but this is what it looks like. Um, we did cut these a little long so we could sand them down if we wanted, but to be honest, I might not even do that. I love how these turned out. Don't you think they're fun? Thanks for watching, guys. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe below. See you later. Oh my gosh. Action. And action. <laughs> action. <laughs> Such, this is the clean way to go. Mod Podge is cleaner, in case you're wondering. <laughs>